Nigerians are continuously clamoring for restructuring, saying that it is the only way to achieve a new Nigeria, which everyone craves for. Now, the move they claim will douse the flames of ethnic and regional agitations by youth, especially those uh, agitation uh, secession from the country. And joining us on Newsday to discuss this subject, uh, which has remained on the front burner, is a journalist and author, uh, Felix uh, Igebo. Uh, good to have you, Felix, uh, and uh, good afternoon. So how can we relate the issue of restructuring to current agitations on police reforms and other public uh, policies, as it were? Uh, Felix, if you can hear me, how can we relate the issue of restructuring uh, to current agitations on police reform and other public policies? Well, um, thanks uh, for having me in your, in your program. Um, what I'm actually advocating for Nigeria is that we should have a new national flag. Um, the national flag of Nigeria, because as a way of the restructuring we are all talking about, the current national flag of Nigeria is green, white, green. Uh, green depicts agriculture, and the white you know, depicts the peace that we all enjoy, that we are all supposed to be enjoying. But today we see that um, Nigeria <laughs> uh, is not an agrarian nation. Before independence and uh, at the time of independence, yes, Nigeria was an agrarian nation. Agriculture was our, our mainstay. But today, we are not depending on agriculture. We are depending on oil and um, solid minerals and all that that we are trying to develop now. You know, it was neglected for a very long time. Everyone was talking of oil, 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 oil. So I'm talking, or I'm, I'm, I'm advocating that there should be a new Nigerian flag which we can all be proud of, which, I mean, of which symbol that we, all of us will say, okay, we can identify with this. And not just all Nigerians per, uh, per se, I'm talking uh, particularly about the Biafran struggle. Because if you, are, if you look at all the agitations that uh, the NSAS and everything, and you know, the, the, the Yorubas, are, some of the youths are saying they want Odua Republic, and uh, in the, in the Niger Delta, they are talking of Niger Delta Republic and all that. So, because they are not proud of Nigeria. Now, the Biafra struggle, if you look at it, um, from 1967 to 1970, for three years, the Biafrans was, were, were on their own. They had their own country, they used their own currency, they had their own uh, leaders and everything. They succeeded for three years. And Nigeria is not recognizing that. We are not acknowledging that in any of our symbols, in Nigerian symbols. That's why I'm advocating that that rising sun in the Biafran flag should be brought you know, in the, into, 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 into the Nigerian flag. The white of the Nigerian, that is the peace. Bring that Biafran uh, rising sun, put it right inside the, inside the Nigerian flag. With that, you are acknowledging them. You are recognizing the struggle that they, that, um, and, and all that, all that they, 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 they lose during the, the Biafran war. These people, you know, the uh, Biafrans, so that, that, as at that time, they, that Southeasterners, uh, including some South South states of today, you know, they lost over a million people. And um, the precedence for this is the American uh, flag. If you look at the American flag, they have 13 stripes, red and white. Those 13 stripes represent the 13 British colonies that seceded from America, uh, from the, uh, fe uh, the, the federal, the, the, that's the federal government, the union. They seceded. But you see, they, 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 when, they, when they came back, when the, 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 after the Civil War, they fought the Civil War, America fought the Civil War, after they came back, what did they do? They recognized them on the flag. Now, every American is proud of the American flag. Nigerians are not proud of the Nigerian flag, the green, white, green, because we are no longer an agrarian nation. So what am I advocating? Let's bring that Biafran rising sun to depict Nigeria, not just Biafra now, but Nigeria as a rising nation, rising out of obscurity, rising out of insecurity, rising out of you know, the, 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 the many ills that have plagued us as a nation. So this is what I'm advocating. And you, you know, 
uh, the way Nigeria is, the way we are structured, um, everybody thinks, uh, okay, uh, the, the green, white, green thing, okay, agree, the, you know, in the north, they used to produce um, granite, uh, that's in, the, in Kano, and uh, the granite pyramids of those days, they have all gone, they all disappeared. Well, we are talking of the, the southwest, cocoa and all that. So what did we do in, on this flag? Mm -hmm. Apart from the, the rising sun of the Biafra, what we are also saying is each geopolitical zone should be, each should be represented by stars. So on that new flag, if you look at the flag, I think it was flashed on the screen uh, when I started talking. If you look at that flag, we have six stars. Those six stars represent the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Mr. Egebo, um, let me interrupt you now. And first of all, Biafra is not a subject for discussion. That's actually um, secession. But um, I'm not quite sure um, how a new flag will bring um, pride for Nigerians that we, not, we do not already have with the existing flag. But um, when are you looking at presenting the model of the flag you've created to the National Assembly? Yes. Uh, you see, before we, we take it to the National Assembly, we want to take it around the states, all the states in Nigeria, the 36 states in Nigeria. We want to involve the social cultural organizations and sensitize everyone. We are asking the governors to look at it. We are, we are believing that the uh, past Nigerian leaders will look at it and they will appreciate what we are trying to say. Um, if you are talking of restructuring, you cannot do a proper restructuring of this country without, you know, um, addressing some fundamental issues. That is why we are saying, the new, if you bring in a new national flag, we can all be proud of. A flag when you salute, when the military salutes, when we have a, you know, national, uh, the national anthem is played and the flag is flying at sporting events and all that, we can all be proud of and we can identify with. That's why I said there are six stars on the new flag that we are advocating, that we are proposing. These six, these six stars represent the six geopolitical zones, and they are represented by different colors. What each zone is bringing to the national GDP? Is it mineral, uh, you, you know, maybe a mineral uh, resource is found in your, in, your, in your zone, and you want to say, okay, that's what you, what you are bringing to the national GDP? Or an agricultural product? That's why we are saying the black represents oil. It represents the south, the south south states, where oil is found. You see the yellow star there represents the southwest states. When the, our youth are taught all this, and then the history of Nigeria, you know now they don't teach history in schools. The history of Nigeria, you know, that Nigeria went through a civil war, it should be represented on our flag. The, if, if you do this, Kanu, Namdi Kanu, and all the agitators of IPOB and Biafra and all that, they will come down. They will, they will know that, okay, we are now part and parcel of Nigeria. Mm. And That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm advocating. Mm. All right, and so as we bring peace, the kind of peace that we are looking, we are, that we are looking at in Nigeria, that will bring peace. All right. On that note, uh, Felix Egebo, I'd like to thank you for your time and your contributions on restructuring in Nigeria. Mm.